this poor dog gets this diet of many things. He's got the, um, the puppy chow. I give him one of my own chicken eggs. I also give him a good heaping couple spoonfuls of good grated cheese, not that craft shaky Parmesan cheese. This is literally cut from the block, the block, cut from the block. So um, I know it's a better quality. Peas, peas and lentils. I accidentally overcooked these in the crock pot because you gotta soak them. You know, you get them hard like this in the bags. Goya, yes, I support Goya. Um, peas, little split peas and lentils, and I put them in the crock pot and let them soften up. Because I was doing it before, in the very beginning, I wasn't softening them, and uh, he was just pooping them right out, just as they went in. So, when they're cooked, or softened, they um, have a better chance of getting into the digestive system. I'll give them a couple spoons of that. And mind you, just like constructing a chicken coop, there's no exactivity in my in my day. It's just whatever. Like the smidge is the smidge could be a millimeter. Oh, I'm gonna turn off my um, coffee. My coffee. He also gets sardines in soybean oil. sardines in soybean oil. Can't see it right here, but you have to look at the fine print. Down here, it says soybean oil. I also give him canola oil. Now, all these ingredients are rich in lysine, so I'm trying to heal his body from the inside out, not just topically, because he's getting silver cream on his skin as well. So. So with all these ingredients, the puppy food, the egg, the canola oil, the Parmesan cheese, the sardines, and the peas and the lentils. So he's getting six ingredients in this in every meal twice a day. And um, I'll show you the difference between September 4th or September 6th when he finally got taken into the vet and today. October 16th. So literally four, five, six, seven weeks later, you'll see the dramatic change in his skin. Seven weeks. I didn't think this dog was gonna make it. But I'm taking care of the, the dog until until Donnie gets out of the hospital and has the strength to take him back. So how I think this happened was, here comes the car, here's the puppy in the road. See, um, he had this big noggin bump on his fucking back of his head. So here's the puppy, and I think that whatever hit him flipped him over, dragged him. Now, luckily he wasn't wearing a collar or anything, um, so he got that big knot on his head. And then his entire back, down to his leg, I'll show you pictures in a moment. We're scraped up by asphalt, and the vet said that um, the asphalt got under the skin and is because it's carcinogenic. 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 There you go. Carcinogenic. Um, it literally started eating um, underneath his flesh. I also gave him a bath, and I'm wondering if something that had something to do with it where I might have activated some of the carcinogen carcinogens in the asphalt to activate and start burning him because the next visit we took him in, the vet says, that is the worst thermal burn we have ever seen. 
first you say it was just he was hit by a car, and then um, now you're telling it's a, us a thermal burn? So we don't know really what happened. Um, I, I'm sticking with the, um, the, the car. This dog is a hot mess. I'm trying uh, different ways to have him wrapped. Um, this is a, <laughs> a preliminary preliminary one last night. This was a new one last night. I got a baby onesie and one of my tank tops and wrapped it around him or put him inside it. And uh, yeah, it's not working. I think I need to do a onesie up the butt and a onesie down the neck. So, hey Darla, don't scratch him. Here's what he looks like now. Yeah, he's a hot mess. <clears throat> I had to get a cone um, for him because he was tearing, he would go into, into his wrapping and pull out the bandages and eat it. He, was, he literally had bandage coming out his butt. I had to pull two feet of bandage out his butt. It was disgusting. But luckily, since I'm giving him so much oil in his food, it slipped right out. Look how excited he is to eat. Yeah, you ready to eat? Are you ready to eat? Yep, he got zapped, so he knows he's not gonna jump. Uh-huh, okay, let's eat, let's go, in your crate. <clears throat> in your crate, oh, 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 hold on. <clears throat> come here, come here, come here, let me take this cone off you. Come here, whoa, 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 whoa. Buckshot. Okay. Are you ready to go in? Are you ready to go in? I'm gonna have to monitor him real quick because he's gonna finish this food in a minute. And then he's gonna he's gonna start picking at those bandages over there. He loves his meal. Poor Dollar just gets the, the kibbles and he's she's like, What? You wanna lick the spoon? Her only treat. Okay. So I'm going to attempt to wrap this dog, remove his really bad bandage wrap, and wrap him up with the medicine on his back, bandages, and then wrap him with the bandage, and then tape it together. And then I'm going to put a um, a onesie on his back. Um, hopefully I can get his head through this and then hopefully um, I can have his little butthole hanging out here so he can um, poop and oh I gotta cut a little hole for his little wee wee so he can pee. Um, yeah this is gonna be a little, a little different. Um, poor thing. Need a butt shot. Stop. Is he a good boy? Yeah, he's a good boy. He says I've been through hell. Said I'm taking care of the dog until um, he's healed and until Donnie can get, come back and he's ready to take him on his on his own. Um, we'll see when that happens. But here we go. This is actually one of the worst wraps I've ever done. I mean, it's just. It didn't stay together for nothing. He looks a hell of a lot better than he did seven weeks ago. I really don't like to stay still because I just don't want to be touched there, but here we go. First thing I do is I spray him with, um, what do you do? I spray him with, uh, what do you call this? Hydrogen peroxide. let that bubble up for just a moment and then I'll pat him down I think this is the worst part that he hates the most right you don't like this part do you Here he is, I'm letting it dry for a moment. This little spot that's bleeding is kind of concerning me. I got him a little red collar. 
I got him a little lost tag. It has me and Donnie's number on the back. But, um. <clears throat> yeah, he's graduating to like a home pet. Right? Right? Next, I'll be putting on this uh, silver cream on the wound. And uh, that's supposed to help it get better. And I. I really know it has helped because his wound was from here all the way over here. So to come this far in seven weeks, I'm, um, I'm pretty astounded. Silver's been applied. The hardest part of this wound has been up in his shoulder blades. Every time I would wrap them, the bandages would come down and this would always be exposed. Very tender. Oh my gosh. He used to be tolerable and now he just, he's all over the place and you can't keep him still. Even when you got someone in here helping me, I can't keep him still. So. I did get the onesie on him, so I only wrapped, vet wrapped his back half. I'm concerned because when I wrap it, he ends up getting a wound here. Even though I put extra padding, it's, it still digs into him. Oi, wound, wound care actually cost me about Twenty dollars, twenty-four dollars a week. To take care of him. Come on, go. Good. You're great. Oh, let's get your little cone on so you don't start picking at that. He's gonna start picking at that, pulling it out, and then eat it. Not good. In the crate he goes. You want a treat for going in the crate? You want a treat? Oh, where is your treats? Here's your treats. Good boy. Good boy. Long drive to Jacksonville to see my daughter, and I had to bring the dog. Um, Buckshot? My baby. Are you ready to eat? He threw up all in the car, all over my back seat. Good thing I had blankets down. And, um,. So he didn't really want to eat much at all. Uh, he didn't want to drink much until probably three quarters of the way here from Tennessee to Jacksonville, Florida. So I've made his mixture of kibbles, sardines, grated Parmesan cheese, canola oil, peas and lentils. and. Uh, He's just ready to eat. Are you ready to eat? Get down, get down. Good, no, get down. <clears throat> Come here. And lucky me, the elevator doesn't work here and I'm on the fourth floor, so I get to go down and pick up his water bowl that I left in the car. I'm really tired and I really don't want to go down there, but I know him. I know he's thirsty. And at the nature today. Yeah, I saved your life. I did. I begged that Donnie not to put you down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Buckshot. Look at those eyeballs. 